Hello, and welcome to, Tr welcome back to Dragon Quest IX. Uh, last we left off, we were at the Protectorate. I should have that one. That one. Okay, cool. Um, we, were at the, we just had arrived at the Protectorate, and we were gonna go up to the tree to pray. I think. So let's, let's go and do that. Um, I guess. Gotta run all the way up all these stairs. Kind of a problem. Da -da 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 -da. Um, God, it's a long way, isn't it? Forget this. Because then you've got these small stairs, and then you've got these, and then it does another loading screen. And then you've got here. It's ridiculous. Tree! Hello. <laughs> Offer up a prayer to Ixtrasil? Yes! Have a prayer. You go praise fervent, ferv fervently at the foot of mighty Yggdrasil, the world tree. Fervently? Ferv fervently? Ferv whatever. He prays so long and hard that he falls into a deep, deep sleep. Damn, that is a... That is a long prayer. But they aren't particularly interesting, so... I guess it checks out. Yeah. The mortals are not fit to inhabit my kingdom. Excuse me? The sins of greed, of falsehood, of dishonor are like unto a plague among them. From dust they came, and to dust I shall return. Oh damn. I beg of you, stay your hand. Wherefore do you defy me? Father, I... I have faith in the mortals. You cannot, you must not lay waste to their realm, I beg of thee. Silence! You shall not sway me, the mortals will be eradicated. Father, I... I have faith in the mortals. I assume this form that the mortals and their realm might be shielded from your wrath. I will, I must protect them. Huh. Interesting. I have genuinely fallen over. Great. <laughs> Juko awakens from his strange dream. That was the wrong voice, but whatever. Despite his prayers, neither Juko's wings nor his halo are restored to him. But just then, he hears a mysterious voice. Juko, Celestrain and Gaian. We rejoice at your return to the observatory. That you are able to return without wings or halo. This is surely a sign that fate has chosen you. Duco, I shall open the way before you. What does that mean? This tree shall guide you to the next destination fate would have you visit. And, precious Duco, I bestow upon you this spell, that you may travel in an instant to any domain that you are have... Here to four visited. Here to four? Alright. Oh, I've got Zoom! Juco learned Zoom! Yeah! Fuck you, Chimera Wings. You aren't useful anymore. <laughs> well, you mildly useful under very limited circumstances. Juco, Celestrian, and Guardian return once more to the mortal realm. Journey ahead, journey aboard the Starflight Express to the lands below and gather the figs that lie scattered there. Do this, Juco, for all mortal kind. For their salvation. Huh. Interesting. So we have to gather the figs which fell from the world tree. Fair enough. Um. Ah, people, hello. So, Juko, are your wings and halo restored? No. Despite your prayers, Ixtrasil has not restored your celestial powers. I... My sympathies, Juko. It would seem that you must endure this div divested, 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 divested state for some time yet. Really? Upon offering your prayers to Exeter, you witness a mysterious dream. You say? Tell me of this vision. Every last detail. Juko tells Opus Major every last detail of his dream. 
Hmm. A mysterious dream indeed. One who would destroy the world, and one who would save it. I fear that, unbeknownst to us, a terrible conflict may be brewing. It is tragic to have lost your wings in Halo, Juco. Perhaps, but perhaps there is meaning in your misfortune. After all, you are now able to ride the Starflight Express. I believe that your dream may have been a message from the Grand Architect himself. If the voice of the Almighty instructed you to gather figs, then gather figs you must. Figs harbor the power of Ixtrasil. They may indeed hold the key to the salvation of the Protectorate and the Observatory alike. Time, Juko, is of the essence. You must leave at once. Bring the figs safely back to us. Our destinies are in your hands. Cool. Alright. So, we're gonna head down to wherever it is we're going. To do things and stuff. Where the flapper's old fat guts got to? I'm sure you'd find him if we managed to get back here. He must have fallen down to the protector when there's a delight beam struck. Am I gonna have to go and hunt out the old codger down? Can I really be bothered to go and look for him? I don't suppose I've got much of a choice if I want my wages. Oh! Hi, Juko! Didn't expect to see you here. No time for pleasantry, I'm afraid. I've got an annoying errand to run. Got to go and look for someone, as it happens. What's that? You need to get back to the protector too! Then we can go together. What a turnout for the books. Come on then, let's go. Stella joins Juko. Feels more like I'm joining her, but alright. Um, let's let's go then. Come on. Right, let's get the show on the railroad back to the mortal realm. Let's get this show on the railroad. Back to the sure, whatever. Beep boop boop. Hmm. But the odd girl's still not running at full steam ahead. Is she going to make it down there in one piece, I wonder? Oh, hang on. What's the blue tree thing? If I just plop it down on top of that, we should have a softish landing. Softish. Well, I don't have any better ideas, so unless your brain's waving at you with something amazing, it's my plan or nothing. Look out, models. Here we come. Yeah, just put a train on top of a tree. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure you can do worse. Chugga 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 Nium. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached our destination. All change, please. It's just flat. On top. It's floating. Of course, we'll have a softish landing. So it looks like we can only land in place with these blue trees in it for the moment. You'll have to flat foot it from here. If you want to get back aboard the Starflight, I'm sure you can find a way if you go rooting around at the root of the tree. I've got an inkling feeling that the building we just saw it must be Ultrade's Abbey. You can change vocations and stuff there. It's always chocked to the block with people, and when there's people, there's bound to be something going on. Right. I'm on a manhunt, and you're on a, well, a fruit hunt, I suppose. Let's pray that we both find our prey. Ha ha. Juko's companions come into view. Hello, how did you get here? I don't know, I don't care. Let's move on. There's things here, and stuff. Ooh. Wow, that tree's a lot closer to the abbey than I remember it being. Ah, yes. I really like the music in this game. It's very good. Right, what is actually in here? Hello! Ah, a save location! That'll be helpful, given that I haven't technically saved. Jim, now in prayer, we ask that the abbot be returned to safely onto us. The living creatures of the mighty world brings you to our church. Save. So that's what you've done. Would you permit me to... Yes. Save. Cool. Great. I was successfully recorded your thing and the thing. Do you intend to continue your adventure? Yes. Maybe it might be with you. Cool. Right. What's going on, then? Hello. What's going on, eh? 
Some of us have come halfway around the world for this change of vocation, you know? Ah, I spent what few coins I had to pay for this tri this here trip here. And now you're saying we can't change trades and all. It was tough for an old stick like me to get here, you know? And I did it to fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a maid. So I'm not bludging from this spot until I've got a little frilly dress and a feather duster in my hand. <laughs> Alright. I can only apologise to you all. Abbot Jack is absent at present. If you could all just wait a little. How long have you been fobbing us off with that, eh? We'll still be standing here next year if you believe you're rubbish. I really am most dreadfully sorry. I implore you just to be patient just a while longer. Noom. Well, that is unfortunate for them. Excuse me, what the hell's going on? Welcome to Waldrey's Abbey. Have you come here to change your vocation? Yes. I'm sorry, but the abbot is not here at present. No vocation changes can take place without him here to perform the ceremony. I'm sure he'll return when he can, so please be patient. What if I say no? Hmm, was there something else you wanted? You're searching for a shining fruit, you say? Well, as it happens, Abbot Jack was given a fruit that might match that description by someone who came here for a change of vocation. I think the person in question is still here in the abbey somewhere. Ask around, and perhaps you'll find something out. Ah! Well, that's convenient. Somebody's got one of the fruits. You look vaguely important. I wonder what's become of the abbot then, eh? People say he's not the sort of bloke who'd run off for no reason. Nope. What about you? I came here with the intention of giving up the old buying and selling game, but people keep asking me for things. I bet you're the same, aren't you? It's a good job I bought my wares with me then, isn't it? Welcome, valued customer. What can I do for you today? Oh, I can buy things from him. Here to buy today, very well. What do you need? Herbs, broadsword. Ooh. That is good. Spears, I can't use. Poison moth, nice. Ah. What else do you have? You just sort of have one of each type of weapon. Fair enough. Oh, and a shield. And different bits of armor. Which are all very useful and all very expensive. Wow, that sword is a whole thing. Yikes. Okay. Okay, then. Is there anything else I can help you with? For now, no. Hmm, a shining fruit, you say? Well, I do like to dabble in a few unusual items, so I don't have anything like that. She's just a maid over there. She's the expert on sweetness, if you know what I mean. Excuse me? It's all right, sure. Pardon? A shining fruit? Well, yes. The abbot had one of them with him when he came to the lunch the other day. He's very partial to his fruit, you know. He likes to have fruit for dessert, so I peeled it and gave it to him after he'd finished his main meal. He told me that he'd been given it by a man who wanted to change his vocation and become a martial artist. Ah, so we're looking for a martial artist. Oh, I wonder who's that up there? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I literally just went the wrong way. If I'd gone the other way, we would have got there quicker. What is it? You need something from me? Yes. Have I seen a shiny fruit? Yes, I have. As it happens, I gave the fruit like that to the abbot. I picked it up on the way here. I'd heard that the abbot was crazy about fruit, so I thought it might help things along. I don't know what he did with it after I gave it to him, but so I'm talking to the barmaid at the pub, but that's it. What health am I on? I am at full health. Okay. Well, the barmaid said to come to you, and you said to talk to the barmaid. But the barmaid said she, that he ate it. Yeah, no, that's, that is the same thing. Okay, right. So... Okay. Um Now practice my part. Now to practice my bow, let's see. Face the bowy square, leave the bend from the waist in the angle of forty-five degree Oh hang on, first of all these weird technicalities. What was it? A sign bow bow to a I keep reading it as bow. A sign bow to a direction with assigned party tricks. Then press the assigned control pad direction while holding down the B button? Dear Lord Almighty, what does it all mean? <laughs> oh I I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just practicing my bow for when I meet the Abbot Jack. Can I can I bow? Is that something I can do? D do I have bow? I it appears I do not. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We can't have much of the ways of comfort. So do you have? Me go, me go. 
some me some meager accommodation here at the Abbey. Welcome to Rain, where we travel as we be staying the night or just resting until evening and what will cost you ten coins. I don't want to do either of those quite yet. I'm gonna read your books though. There's your new books of particular interest. Never mind. I'm not doing that. A set of plain clothes. Nothing there. Ah, uh, nothing of interest. Shame. I searched all around the abbey again, but still no sign of the abbot anywhere. Where the devil has he got to? Can you go and look for a bit instead? Okay, like, I happen to know where the abbot is, because obviously I've played this before. I'm just trying to work out if there's something I have to do beforehand. Okay, it's just gonna cutscene. Cool. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like old Fratgut is here either. Where the flap has he got to? Oh, but hang on. I've got the sneaky suspicion one of those fruit you're after was here till not long ago. And something tells me this abbot jack character might have gone and made a meal of it. I reckon you should find that important looking man again and ask him if he knows anything. And then get after that abbot. Ask the important looking man. Okay, I'm guessing that's the guy up north. I assume this is north. It's at the top. Hello. Ah, it's you. What? Are you sure? The abbot left the abbey after eating the fruit you mentioned. I see. It harbors some mysterious power, does it? Well... Of course, the Tower of Trades. Legend tells it that's where the vocation changing rite was carried out in days of yore, but now it is overrun with monsters. Under normal circumstances, the abbot would never have considered venturing into such a dangerous place, but, well, if you say this fruit may have afforded him magical powers, perhaps his curiosity finally got the better of him. Oh dear, I, I don't like to ask, but there is no one else. Could you possibly go to the tower and bring the abbot back? We men of cloth are neither equipped nor inclined to battle monsters. Please, I implore you to help. Yes. Oh, thank you. Before you go. Let me teach you the secret way to enter the tower. You must stand at the entrance and take a bow. Just one will suffice. Let me show you how to do it. Chickalun's a new party trick. Now we can bow. The Tower of Trades is to is uh, the Tower of Trades is the, to the east of All Trades Abbey. May the Almighty watch over you and guide you to the abbot. Okay, I can now bow. Um, assign party tricks here. There it is. Nice. So I'll hold that button. I can bow. Nice, cool, right. I'm gonna quickly save, and then we shall head off over towards the thing. Cool, right, we have done that, so let's be heading onwards. Uh, how long are we going for? Okay, cool, right. So, we just have to get over to the tower in the east. What could possibly so be so difficult about that? Um, actually, screw it. Let's just test how strong the monsters are in this area. I need to do that. There we go. Nice. Uh, what spells do you know? Whoosh. Whoosh the Magus's, the Magi. And you just attack the Cyclone. Winsicles! Ow! Oh, Christ. Magical barrier. Which is his spells increase. Well, that's a pain, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and A's casting whoosh back. Yikes! 20 damage! I should get Juko that shield. Um. Ah, that hits a group of enemies with more damage. Okay. I should probably continue to hit the Magi because we're better off just trying to kill everything we can rather than spreading the damage. Oh wow, okay. That's very strong. Fizzle isn't affected, and Anora isn't affected. Good! Because I think that would stop me casting spells. Okay. So, wow, critical hit. Nice. Enemy defeated. Each party member receives some experience. Cool. So they aren't ridiculously strong around here. Uh, how much money do I have? I have some. Okay. Ah, crap. Another fight. I didn't intend to do this. A cyclone draws now. Oh, it's just the one thing. Okay. 29 damage. And I take 5. Okay. Well, that's more damage than I'd like to take into here that much. But I remember receive some experience. Okay, cool. Right. Oh god. Hello. <laughs> Bodkin Archer of some form. Um That is a tall tower. I don't remember much about this tower, actually. 
I know what happens at the top of it, but... It doesn't look like the doors will open. There's not even a keyhole. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... Okay, right. I, obviously, that's the wrong button, and I need to swap this back. Cool. Right. dun -la -na. The party trick seems to do the trick! The door opens! Amazing! Okay, so, next time, we will explore that tower. Uh, between episodes, I'm gonna put the money in the bank and probably heal, and then come back here. Um... But yeah, next episode we are going into that tower. But for now, this has been Dragon Quest Nine. I've been Gamers in the Game. Like, follow, follow. God, I've been streaming too much. Uh, like, subscribe, etc. Comment. You know all the things. You know what to do. Um. Yeah. And next time we'll go in the tower. But for now. Um. Ta-ra.